Hi everyone, it's Carol here from the stampingground.co.uk and we're here today making a card using the counting sheep and the sheep dies from the celebration catalogue. And at last the days arrived when we can actually order from the mini catalogue and the celebration. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, look at the catalogues. Uh, so here we are, the mini catalogue and the celebration. I'm not going to go through the whole of the mini catalogue because uh, most of you will have it. If you haven't, please drop me a line, drop me a line, drop me uh, a message and I'll uh, put one in the post to you. There's some beautiful items in the catalogue, uh, too many to go through. Um, I'll just really just give you a, a quick peek at a few of them. This Penguin Place, along with the uh, Penguin Playmates uh, designer series papers in the celebration, is so, so popular. Also, just look at this, Sweet Stockings. It's uh, a fabulous stamp set and dies, and also the papers uh, to match. The, the, just fabulous. Obviously, uh, Robins and uh, Snowmen. This is one that I have Christmas uh, season. I think this is a, a lovely stamp set and dies as it can go through the year rather than just Christmas. If you actually look at the stamps, uh, there's only the holly that you wouldn't be able to use all year round and the the labels, the label dies. As you can see, all the labels on the left you will use all year round. And the, uh, sorry, the flower, flower leaf dies, uh, again, you will use apart from the holly. So take a look through the catalogue. Um, and like I say, you can now uh, order if you, if you wish to. So we're just going to, I'll just pop this to one side and we'll have a quick look at the celebration. So for every £45 you spend in the annual or the mini catalogue, you can choose one of these uh, free out of the celebration. There's some beautiful papers, also stamps, the hand which is one of my favourites, they've come out with... Um, some new papers. The sheep dye, obviously, which I'm using now, along with the dyes, that's um, I can see being very, very popular. I think this one um, is, and also you've got some flower dyes there, and the dahlia um, that will will be popular, but. Uh, I know a few of you have inquired about joining and I just think this is um, a great opportunity as not only do you get £130 for £99, you also get the chance of choosing a set which which is stamp, stamps and dies and you get to choose out of the mini catalogue there are 12 to choose from so they range from any, anywhere from £30 to £55. So I think it's a, a fabulous opportunity. So we'll now carry on with our card. So as you know, we're using our counting sheep and the sheep dies from uh, the celebration. We're going to use these two uh, sheep and you're amazing. And I'm also going to use the other inscription inside. The dies are fantastic. You've got um, a gate, balloon, you've got sun, hat. This one I think is um, either cloud or grass. You can you can use it for either. So we're going to start with um, the card base, which is eight by eight and scored at four. We also need um, a piece seven and three quarters by three and three quarters, and one at seven and a half by three and a half, and also scrap pieces which as we are using them, I will tell you which, uh, which designer series paper uh, pack they've come from. 
So we're going to start with stamping the sheep. I'm using Memento Black Ink. And we're going to ink the stamp up and stamp on white cardstock. We need two of the jumping sheep, if that's, uh, if that's the right term. While they're jumping over the hedge. <laughs> And the designer series paper here is from the hand pen and it's got little um, white, no, not loops, but I, I actually thought they looked a bit like um, woolly, little woolly sheep. And then we need the um, monster of the pack. And we also need him in white as well. So now we just need to add the dies and die cut each one out of both the white and the designer series paper and I'll be back shortly. So in blue Peter fashion, here we are. Three of the white sheep and three... Um, with the woolly coats <laughs> and what we need to do is we need to fussy cut the coloured sheep we need to take the face and the legs off sounds quite drastic that but uh, that's what we need to do so it's quite easy We just need to cut the legs and the face off. And I've, I've I said, sorry, I've said before, fussy cutting is easy as long as you remember to move the paper and not your scissors. So when you're going around a corner, rather than trying to um, bend your scissors, move the paper instead. And then chop his legs off. And if you're not sure um, if you've got everything right, just pop it onto onto your white piece. And as you can see, we now need to cut this leg out as well. And you'll see me move. Move the paper rather than the scissors. Just snip that off there. And as you can see, it fits in perfectly. It's like his pajamas. There we are. So I need to do that on all of them. And like I say, if you're unsure, just just add it to the white piece and you'll know exactly what you need to cut out. So you can see I've just finished this one. Just let's add it and make sure we've got everything correct and all the bits and pieces cut out. So what we need to do now is add his um, pyjamas. So just add some little dots of glue. You don't need a lot. Just pop on top. Give it a little press. And there we are. It looks very sweet. And the same with this one. So you can obviously add whatever colours, um, whatever papers uh, you'd like, or you could, you don't need to do that. You can actually just stamp 
die cut the sheep and colour uh, the sheep or leave his woolly coat white and just uh, colour his face. Entirely up to you. So now we need to uh, colour his face and I'm using the light and dark petal pink. So I'm going in with the um, light petal pink first. So just colour his legs, leave his toes uh, till later. I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just um, going over with the light and then I'm just going to add uh, a little bit I've missed that, missed his arm. I'm just going to go in uh, with the dark and just add, add a little bit of uh, shade in here and there. It does make a huge difference when you use um, both of the blending, uh, the dark and the light. So for his toes, I'm going to use the um, the light smoky slate. I just thought it was um, not quite as harsh as black, really. There we are. So we need to do all the sheep like this, all the three. So here we are, all three done. So we're going to cut out the gate now, the die cut, and I've used Beauty of the Earth uh, Designer Series paper uh, for this as it's kind of like a, a wood grain effect and I'm going to cut three out. And the reason for that is I'm just layering them just to give it um, a little bit of depth really. And I think when when you actually see them together, um, you realise you realise what I mean. Really, just add little dots of glue and uh, just lay them on top of each other, making sure that you've got them the correct way. And I keep saying this glue is uh, running out, but it keeps on going uh, for how long, I don't know. <laughs> there we are. Now we're just going to use a small piece of scrap paper and the light daffodil yellow and I'm just going to scribble across uh, the paper and they're going to take the uh, sun from the dies and just die cut it out so there we are one sun we also need uh, the flag And I'm going to stamp the inscription, You're Amazing, from, um, from the stamp set. I'm going to use Coral Calypso, which is a nice bright orange. Just pop that away and uh, I don't get ink all over. I'm rather use the die, I'm just going to just do a wiggly cut all the way around the inscription. There's no right or wrong way as long as it's a nice even cut that will be fine. So if we take our flag and just pop um, a small amount of liquid glue
and just pop the inscription on the top. And just pop that to one side. Now we're going to start with uh, the front of our card to decorate and I'm going to I'm going to use the grass a small grass stamp that's in the uh, the stamp set along with the soft succulent ink pad and I'm going to randomly just stamp the grass along the bottom and we can also stamp second and third generation stamping we don't have to use um we don't have to stamp each time because it's nice to see uh, the different shades as well so as you can see i'm i'm just doing it randomly just till you're happy I think I'm doing what roughly a quarter of the way there I'm quite happy with that I didn't want to leave the sky totally white but I didn't want to give it um, a full inking so I'm using the balmy blue and I'm taking most of the ink off and then and I mean ever so lightly just go across in little patches so it kind of looks like um, you've got fluffy white clouds and um, beautiful blue skies as well And I'm happy with that so nice and easy so we now need to add this to our um, our layer and as you can see I've been messing about on the back of here so never ever throw anything away you can always use the opposite side No one will ever know. And just, just get it central. So we now need to bring back all our pieces as we are ready to assemble the cord. And you'll know when you actually place this gate on there, the reason why we've added three pieces together. It, 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 it just gives it dimension. So onto the back of the gate, although it gives it dimension, I'm still going to add dimensionals to the back. Um, and those are a little bit too big, so I'm going to use the mini the mini dimensionals I think these are uh, a better size so just pop them evenly across the gate I'm not sure if this one in the centre will actually show or not. And yes, it does. So I'm going to take it off and um, just cut it. And just put half on. So when you fix them, just... Decide where you're happy with the gate. 
and then pop it. Oops. There we are. Now we need to add our sheep. And as you can see, the um, front of the sheep is high and the back is, is quite low. So I'm just going to add a few dimensionals uh, to the bottom of the sheep as well, to, just to lift him up. I'm just going to add one just to the front of his uh, face. Now all I'm going to do here is just add um, a little bit of glue when I can remember where to put the glue, just at the bottom of his tummy. And he'll be quite happy there. And we're just going to pop this uh, sheet just flat onto the card with a little bit of glue. Oops. And just remember, he has to have this banner in his hand, so you don't want it going off the card. So just make sure you place him... Um, low enough so that you can place uh, his banner and when you're happy just add some glue to that and last but not least we need to add the sun the sun is always shining. So I've decided I'm adding dimensionals, but I'm actually going to add two lots. I just think it, um, again, it adds interest to the card. It brings it up higher uh, than any of the others so there we are so we just now need to add uh, the card front to the card base just add liquid glue and place centrally onto your card base Using liquid glue just gives you that um, little bit extra time. If you've not got it quite straight, then you've got time and the ability to actually move it. Where if you use stamp and seal, you've got to get it right first time. Now we just need to add uh, the inside and we need a piece seven and three quarters by three and three quarters and one piece seven and a half by three and a half. I'm going to use um, an inscription from the stamp set, which um, is so glad it's your birthday. Again, I'm going to use the um, coral calypso, which will match uh, the inscription on the front of the card. And just stamp it centrally central centrally and there we are so hope you've enjoyed watching if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel all the measurements and everything i've used will be over on my blog um, and you'll find that in the description bar below 
and I'll be back very soon with another pro project and until then thank you very much and bye bye.